Hello, uh, early education team. My name is Joel. Um, I want to talk to you about the new science of team chemistry, um, written by Suzanne M. Johnson Vickberg and Kim Christfort. Christfort. Anyway, um, basically speaking, it breaks teams down into a couple of, well, four specific types, team members types, um, styles, I guess they call them. Pioneers, guardians, drivers, and integrators. Um, and they did a lot of research to kind of talk about how all of those, how they decided on those four basic types and kind of what they each mean. But more importantly, it's an article about how those four different forces all kind of come together and where they where they get into trouble and where they can help one another and kind of, I guess most importantly, it's about taking advantage of everybody's strengths and their weaknesses to end up with a better team. Um, you know, they had a lot of cautions about, hey, you know, when everybody gets together and everybody kind of decides, then the people who don't agree often don't say anything. And instead of that being an okay thing, there's a real sense that we're losing the input of that person that we're not encouraging to speak up. And that can actually be detrimental in the long run. It's really hard to judge how all these pieces fit together. But I think what I really took away from this particular article was that it really helps to with a lot of intentionality, approach the team and the different styles of people in the team and say, hey, what do you bring to this? What kind of role do you fulfill here? And how can that help us make the team better and stronger? Um, it's They actually go into that, that whole adage about opposites attract, saying looking at the various team styles and saying a person who is very... Um, outgoing and forthright and a person who is very introspective and quiet honestly can help one another a great deal if they can learn how to work with one another. And that's that's really what this is all about. I mean, an effective team is one in which we have a bunch of different viewpoints, different people, different forces all coming together in a very synergistic way. And this is the idea I remember synergy, that thing that I learned so long ago. The idea that one plus one equals three or four or, or ten because instead of just having two people working together, those two people come together or more and form something larger than all of them are, which is what a team should be. Something that we all contribute a little bit and we get so much more out of it. Um, and this is kind of where that particular article, I think, really um, comes out. I mean, I don't like the phrases and I don't like the fact that it um, limits us to like four styles. And it doesn't until the very end talk about, hey, you can be a guardian, but you can also be an innovator. Or you can be a pioneer, but you can also be a guardian. So we get away from the strict binary idea or just four poles and kind of say, hey, you can actually kind of be a bunch of different ones. Or you can intentionally try and take on the roles of other ones. And the real meat of this article is, hey, pay attention to the other people around you. Pay attention to what people can bring to the table and encourage them to do so. Make sure that everyone on your team is a part of what's happening, um, as opposed to just letting the quiet voices sit there and not be part of what's happening. Realize that we all have a part to play and all have a valuable part to play, something that, that can really benefit all of us in the end. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think this is a, a good place to start the conversation. Um, I'm hoping we can do 
more than this, I just thought that a video might be a great way to start and you get to look at me with my coronavirus haircut and uh, shaving job. But thank you very much and um, I'll talk to you all soon.